I'm Mayor Sally Faith. Welcome to Coffee Talk with the Mayor. Today we have a special guest and I'm uh, Nick Donzi and Nick is the Superintendent of Parks for the City of St. Charles and I've known Nick for a long time mm -hmm. when I was on the County Council and um, so it's uh, mm -hmm. good to see you yeah, and I hope you. you're enjoying working with the City Parks. Absolutely. Thoroughly enjoy it. Good. Now, how long have you been with them now? So I've just been with City Parks yeah. now for three and a half years. Three and a half years. That's right. what I was thinking. Okay. Exactly. Good. Now, I was with the county parks uh -huh. for almost 10 years when you were on the council yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's super. Well, we're glad to have you here. And the purpose is just to talk about things and and uh, try and get information out. Um, and um, so we have our teacups and... and uh, and we can uh, sip from them. But uh, let's start. Why don't we start out by talking about the pools? Sure, absolutely. Okay, well, it's, it's that time of year. It's almost pool season. It is, isn't it? Memorial weekend. We will uh -huh. have all three of our pools open again. Wow. So we're very busy uh, with those. Of course, Wapple Horse off, Mew mm -hmm. uh, off Mugi and yeah. in Blanchett Park and mm -hmm. in McNair Park as well. Sure. So we're getting geared up for, for uh, another fun-filled season of, of swimming at our facilities. So. Good. Good. Yeah, That's great. Yeah, yeah. I understand there was a study that was done. So t tell that us a little correct. bit about that. Yeah, we did. You know, um, St. Charles uh, has a, a pretty strong legacy revolving around their aquatics facilities. Absolutely. Um, when they were first installed back in the 90s, they were cutting edge at mm -hmm. the time, uh, really setting the trend and actually got some national awards for what we were doing. So it's really a part of our community. Um, what we do with our aquatics, uh, our, our programs and our facilities. Uh, but they're getting to the point now to where they're starting to show a little age. Like all of us. Like all of us, okay. exactly. Um, so the park board decided to get a consultant in to uh -huh. take a look at their condition. Um, not only just the physical attributes of the facilities, but actually mm -hmm. how they are operated to see if there could be any efficiencies done. And, and and we, the citizens, do not see the inner workings. Absolutely. It's, and absolutely. it's a whole different world. Looks good on top, looks good, it's happening, I'm swimming, there's water in it, but there's some other things underneath. Certainly there is, and, and you're right that you don't see. Uh, a lot of it's underwater or mm -hmm. underground okay. with, with the pipes and the filters. Uh, the aquatic staff and our maintenance staff, they do a wonderful job mm -hmm. getting them ready. Um, every year gets to be just a little bit more of a challenge because they're, they're getting older. There's a always a little bit more to do, a little bit more repair. Mm -hmm. So we looked at those, and, and they're, they're coming um, up with um, finalizing the study here shortly. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They did a lot of work. Um, they did um, on-site analysis when the pools were running. Um, they actually Good. did surveys last summer with the people in the pools to see how they right. felt about them. As did, the people that are using them. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's what it's all about, definitely. Um, and they did some other surveys, uh, some phone surveys, some written surveys, um, met with a lot of the, the local organizations here in the area um, that could provide some input or their thoughts on the types of facilities we have or possibly what in the future could they possibly use? So they're compiling all of this information right now, mm -hmm. and, um, and within the next uh, month or two should be uh, finalized for the park board to, to consider and recommend to the city council, um, you know, what direction that they feel uh, should What's be taken the in the future. the best way to go, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think your point's well taken in the future. Uh, we, we have to look certainly at today and what's happening and getting it done, but we need to also plan ahead to the future absolutely. so that we can um, prepare for it and get ready for it and, and do the things needed. So I think that's... Uh, I think that's good. Is there anything special that you'd like to talk about that might be coming out of the study? Or? Well, there are, there are some exciting new trends in aquatics. Um, you know, Wapple Horse, of course, has, has the, the tall slides there mm -hmm. and a lot of the other attractions there. On top of that, there are new innovations out there, new slides that the consultants are looking at to help supplement what works and improve upon it. Uh, and of course, efficiencies as well. You know, there's a lot more efficient uh, ways to operate the pumps, more efficient ways to even staff the facilities now, the way it's designed. Wow. Um, you know, and also indoor component is also being looked at as well, mm -hmm. because currently um, in the city, we do not have an indoor facility. Yeah. So that was all part of the discussion 
and part of the evaluation on what's what's going to be proposed. Well, I think that's exciting, and I'll be looking ahead to uh, to seeing what the what the final results were. And and I, I think a good job was done with bringing all these pieces in to put that study together. Yeah, absolutely, we good. tried to get as much input from the community as possible in, in various different ways. Good, mm -hmm. yeah. that's important. Now, talk to me. What's happening with the ball fields? Well, a lot with the ball fields. Um, absolutely. Uh, even starting a few years ago, we, we started, it's not real exciting stuff, but we're starting <laughs> to see sort of the benefits of our, our turf management program. So a uh, new way of looking at how to fertilize, how to manage, how to aerify the turf. And it's, it's really starting to pay off this year. Even how we mow it, we're even looking at different ways of That's doing something. that, you know, uh, Smaller. And when you say different ways of mowing, is yeah. it the tall grass mm -hmm. or short grass, or is it different directions? Or it is. Isn't it's it's that both amazing? of that, including the type of equipment we use. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, for example, our ball fields are typically mowed at the same height every time, but now we're mowing in different directions. Oh. So you're actually even starting to see some of that cool striping that you see, yes. like when you I watch like TV that. or at Bush Stadium. Uh -huh. We're starting to do that. Good. At the soccer fields, uh, we do vary the heights on those depending what time of year and, mm -hmm. and who is playing down there. So we actually will, depending, we'll even lower the grass a little bit or let it grow a little bit higher. So it's, it's a comprehensive approach now that we're trying to, as much as possible, mm -hmm. improve the playability and, and, the, and the turf stand on the field. So we've been doing that now for a couple of years. Well, I think that's great. And first of all, it looks good. And just because it looks good doesn't mean that um, there are some things to uh, can help it, as you said, and certainly turf grass is evolving, is an evolving business. I, you know, I worked at a golf course, and and we were talking about the drainage and the type of of uh, uh, dirt underneath it, because um, you know, on a golf course, it never rains. Of on course, a golf not. course, oh, no. that's right. <laughs> it may lightning, but it never <laughs> rains, and uh, so. Uh, but that is certainly that, and and tapping onto what we I was just saying is that. Um, you got to take training for all that. Absolutely, it is. Yes. It's, it's actually a science yes, behind it all. Yes, it is. It really is. And, and everything, uh, looking at the parks and things that need to be done. So talk to us about uh, some of the things, trainings that you go to. Oh, certainly. Well, through our Missouri Park and Recreation Association, every year they provide um, uh, classes uh, so you can maintain your certifications Good. Um, as a park professional. Mm -hmm. Now, Good. we also have training for pool operating um, uh, classes for maintenance and, and, and for the aquatic staff. So that's which we send all the to. mechanical stuff underneath there and all and that. And all the chemicals and mm -hmm. keeping chemicals, everything, keeping everything right. balanced so the water looks as good as it possibly can. Good. Yeah. Uh, we also have certified playground inspectors I'll be to where we, we send them to. It's a very extensive class where they, they go. It's a two and a half day class. Mm -hmm. And at the end, there's actually a written test, which they have to take to become a certified playground wow. inspector. That's great. So we have a program where we inspect all our programs or all of our playgrounds as well. And we have uh, right now on staff five certified playground safety inspectors. That's good. And, and looking at the training and everything, you know, sometimes you... You send someone to train the you train the trainer and then the trainer comes back and no, and does does that internal uh, teaching and uh, but but it is important to know that and to keep up uh, absolutely yeah it is yeah it's uh, when I worked at the golf course my mother couldn't thought I was off all winter because it snowed and, <laughs> and that was not true not and case, you know it's it? not the absolutely. case yeah. absolutely because you're getting ready yeah. for the for the next go around that's right uh, uh, tell talk about any anything else that I, oh I know let's talk about when we're talking about the uh, different parks mm -hmm. the uh, improvement what about um, oh concession stands oh, and stuff what's going absolutely. on with that so at Wapple Horse Park, you know, we're doing all this work on the ball fields with the turf and the infields. Um, in addition to that, we have a new addition to the concession stand there to where people can come in if it's hot outside in the air conditioning, maybe watch a Cardinal game if it's on. We have some nice TVs there, get a nice beverage if they're thirsty. But in addition to that outside, we have a food trailer. Uh, yes. where we provide all sorts of grilled foods. Uh, and the menu actually changes a little bit 
uh, as time goes by, uh, but it's, it's proven to be very popular, and that's also located um, there at, at the ball fields at Wapple Horse Park. So, Good, yeah. and it, so it stays at Wapple Horse Park at the uh, ball field. Does it move around anywhere? We are looking at moving it around. Um, we're possibly looking at McNair Park uh, during football season, oh. which is always very busy, oh, back wow. on fields two and three. Right. Um, as well as we're looking at getting providing electrical hookups down at the soccer fields as well. So Good. we'll have an opportunity to, to move it around. Yeah. Well, you know what? It looks very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a it's nice got, trailer. It has it got a, it's got like a, sea, uh, a wrap. It does. You know, we it. we uh -huh. decorated it. It's, it looks great. Yeah, with with uh, scenes from our parks. Uh -huh. So it's it's yeah. wrapped, and you can't you can't miss it. It's 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 our trailer. Good, Definitely. good. Well, yeah. that that's good. That's good mm -hmm. to hear. Anything else that I haven't covered that you think we should talk about? I guess right now we're thinking, as you said, of summer. Yes. We're looking ahead to the future, mm -hmm. uh, as far as the pool and everything. Uh, Certainly all the diamonds, baseball and softball diamonds Absolutely. are going. And, right. and then probably in the fall, we'll do another update Absolutely. and, uh, and just sit down and talk about mm -hmm. things that, that are going sure. on. Sure. And uh, I, think, uh, I think that's great. The, we have the city of St. Charles have wonderful parks. We're very proud of our parks. That's right. And how many parks do we have? We have 24 parks all, all together, right. nearly 800 acres. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great, mm -hmm. um, and and people. I bet you there's parks in in town that people don't know are there. There are actually there uh, in Frenchtown. Yeah. We have some smaller parks actually. Yes. As you drive right along Second Street, mm -hmm. there's a nice narrow edge of landscaping, which is a park, and mm -hmm. then just further down is the uh, eco is the eco park, mm -hmm. uh, just right here on Main Street. Um, Kister Park with the yes. gazebo. Yes, and and also. Um, uh, Berthold Park Berthold. by Lewis and Lewis and Clark, yes. and then yeah. Webster Park. Yes, it's already down by the Family that's Arena. That's correct, right? Right. And that's very nice. And it's something that people can rent to have at Webster Park. Yes. Has a large building where you could have it all year round. Yeah, absolutely. It's an indoor facility yeah. that you can rent. There's indoor and outdoor seating. It's, um, you feel secluded up there, just yeah. in the setting. It's, it's and setting. Right in the it's middle, nice. Right in the middle of town, and it does. It you feel like you you're do. in the yeah. woods. Yeah, you do. And we have a fire pit there. That uh -huh. you, that you Huge can use. So fire very, pit. Very nice, nice it's playground. It's good for those um, s'mores. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that works out good. You can sit there and stick mm -hmm. them in the fire. Well, Nick, I appreciate you taking the time to it's talk to us. My pleasure. And, um, uh, uh, let's talk about if someone has questions uh, about what you've mentioned. Or anything else with the parks, who should they contact and what number? Absolutely. Our main office uh, is at 636-949-3372. 3372. And absolutely. Okay. And we'd be able to help you uh, in any way we can. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's wonderful. Uh, it's And I like the fact that the parks are evolving. And uh, I, I saw something in the... I think the weekly email, e-newsletter, talking about, or maybe it was something else, talking about the uh, cricket. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. there's a big cricket. I think it's, I got a letter of invitation for a quick cricket. It's a, na it's a convention that's happening. It, it's really taking foot here. Mm -hmm. um, we have... Um, Cricket matches. I'm. I'll have to apologize. I'm not real familiar with cricket uh, I'm not in terms either. of I've like baseball it. or football, but uh, <laughs> but they work really hard. Popular. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and it's in it's in Bales Park in Dusable, yes. just just north of 370. There mm -hmm. you go under, and uh, every weekend uh, it's very popular and it's it's really really starting to take foot there. Well, and I think it's pretty cool because. Um, there are people, I've talked to people that are there. Some of them come from Kansas City, Columbia, St. Louis. Mm -hmm. They come from all over the state to play in, in these do. tournaments. They and do. then they've got, right. I think, a national, in about a month, there's going to be correct. some yeah. settlement of that, of, of that mm -hmm. uh, who's the number one. Uh, but that's good. And so that shows that we're trying to reach out and, and still do. serve and maintain and do what we need, mm -hmm. but also to add a new group of people Definitely. that they just love St. Charles and, and the park yeah. and they yeah. just solve, they just it's, think it's, it's great. It's become very popular. Okay, Nick, yeah. thank you. Right. Well, thank you. Thank it's you for coming. Pleasure. All thank right. You. See, it was not painful, was Not it? at all. Not at all. No. All right. Thank you for watching. 
and uh, we'll see you next time with Coffee Talk with the Mayor. Thank you.